Cover today, she's been great. Hey, oh, she sees Chris. There you go, put some water. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of uh, overwhelmed right now uh, by this, and uh, words cannot really. <laughs> hmm. yeah. oh. I just want to thank you for coming out today. Christian waited over a year in Seattle Hospital. He waited 99 days for the gift of life. I'm a dog. Potato, it's okay. <laughs> I don't want to sit down. Why to sit down? How do you do? I'm Shannon Simpson. I'm Chris's mother. I'm here today because my son last year had a heart transplant in Seattle, Washington. Chris and Jim brought down Zoe and Potato to donate to Christian. Zoe helped Chris get through a difficult part of his life. He was depressed and didn't speak to anybody. But when he met Zoe, that all changed. Christian would see Zoe on a weekly basis. And when Chris would hit a bad patch during the week, I would tell him that if he made it through the next week, he got to see Zoe again. It did help him out a lot. It did. He won't be invisible anymore. Chris normally wears a mask on his face. And he wears the mask so he doesn't get sick with germs from other people. So then people shy away because they think he's sick. So having this dog will allow him to be more approachable for people to ask him why he's wearing the mask. Well, it was a long year, and Christian had a lot of bad experiences because he was there so long. Seattle Children's Hospital is for younger children, and because Christian was older, things were not always as what they should have been. Um, he struggled um, with um, friends because there was no friends because we just PC up to Washington. So there was nobody for him, nobody in the hospital his age. Um, I'm definitely glad that we met Cat and Jim because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have anybody or anything for him to look forward to. He never got to see his dad because he wasn't allowed uh, to be at the hospital due to work. Um, so Chris was alone most of the time. It was just me and him and yeah, he gets tired of seeing me. New teenager. Now he has potato. Next year he will be starting school with potato. She will actually have a student ID. Sure, my name is James Score. Well, the reason we came here today was because of a life of a little boy. Uh, well, it's not so little. Uh, 
<laughs> who we met at uh, Ronald McDonald House in Seattle, where my wife and I both volunteer uh, as, ther as therapy dog handler teams. Um, we met Chris about a year ago and uh, with his family, and it was uh, an instant connection, pretty much. Uh, not only because of the fact that uh, Chris, uh, our dog, who Zoe, who's uh, incredibly uh, intuitive and ne knew that Chris needed uh, her touch, but because of my military connections and past military service as well. Um, Chris was an incredibly sick little boy. Uh, if you can imagine uh, a young man that's had three heart transplants in 16 years, uh, that in and of itself it takes a tremendous toll on the family. Uh, not only on the family, but on Chris. And uh, uh, when you toss in the fact that you have military service that is uh, a requisite as well, uh, it brings that factor into play and it makes it even more difficult because the father can't be there all the time when his son needs him. Chris uh, fell in love with our, our, our dog Zoe. Uh, my wife is Zoe's uh, handler uh, and on a weekly basis when we were down there uh, Chris, even, it didn't matter how, how sick Chris was at the time, Chris would find the energy to come down and be with Zoe. Uh, she derived strength from her. Um, it uh, kept her going and when we found out that Chris, um, excuse me, when we found out that Chris uh, could have a service dog and so on, uh, we knew in our heart that uh, we would be giving Chris one and it was at the point where Chris was his sickest and we didn't know if he was going to make it or not. It gave him focus and it gave him drive uh, to pull through his third and last heart transplant uh, up until today where uh, he's been planning from before she was born that she would be his and uh, would be uh, was collecting toys and things for her all along the way. Um, we're incredibly honored to be able to do this for him. Well, it's really very humbling. I, I'm usually a guy that works in the background and makes things makes things happen. Was that way when I was a staff sergeant too. Um, being out in the open uh, is. Uh, very difficult for me, but it's all worth it for to bring uh, potato to Chris. Um, it's something that she's going to be with him as a companion, but not but much more than a companion the rest of her life. Um, she's going to be a helpmate to him as he goes through and grows and continues on with his struggles, and there will be struggles later. So. Uh, this will help him face those struggles. Well, the puppies were born just shy of St. Patrick's Day, so we had Angus, Maggie, the last one we took a poll on uh, Facebook and everybody says it should be potato. Well, it was a joke, but it stuck. <laughs> uh, and uh, we got a, a video clip from uh, Chris's mom a little while back he says what's your dog's name going to be potato what's your dog's name going to be potato so potato it is but her um, registered name is uh, rain city's uh, tribute to courage which as i said earlier is a um, tribute to him his family and the corps it's been over 30 years since I've been on a military installation, so it's a little bit overwhelming. Uh, certain things come back into certain things come back into play very easily, but uh, this this day is about Chris, uh, and it's it's always been about Chris. Um, it could have been an open field, for all I care, for the reason that we brought this puppy to him. Um, 
it's to help him through his life, and I know that this puppy will. So that means a great deal to us as far as, as helping. We've always been a family that wants to give back to the community, but we also want to give back to those that are close to us. And if we make a difference for not only, and we can make the connection of military, family, and friends, so much the better.